um, so metaverse is nothing new and everybody's talking about metaverses, right? I mean, it's VR metaverse, you know, that's like part of the streaming technology that are, uh, you know, making worlds, virtual worlds that you can walk around inside of with VR. That's, I mean, that's Nintendo Wii, right? That's like... <clears throat> But um, thing is, uh, NFTs are going to be recognized by metaverses and by social media. You know, like uh, Discord and Telegram. Uh, not not Twitter. Because uh, Twitter's not encryption, but uh, it's the Internet two point or three three point because of the identity that it affords you having leveled up in so many different games to register to come up with a unique UPC that's more power potent than a blue check mark and whether they act like it or not the the United States government is interested in a new cyber division for the mail the postal office because there's a root seed text hash seal to do, uh, is a Without the, uh, it's a way to validate whether or not data queries and new new data is derived off of uh, a basis of information that hasn't been seen by somebody or tampered with or can or doesn't originate from the initial data query. So whether or not that sounds like anything that could just what is this? This is nothing, right? It's gonna change the direction of mankind and so maybe they're not acting overt like they're aware of it but they are making preparations all right if they i mean unless they're degenerate i mean maybe they i'm i don't know maybe they have a parasitic uh um mind parasite or something making telling them to do stuff i don't know but uh because i don't have evidence yet because i don't know right but you know what I'm saying? I don't have evidence. I mean, unless they're retarded, they're going to do something. So anyways, uh, make sure that I get to find out and a lot of people get to find out when you drop them because somebody's going to drop a lot of free NFTs because there are some NFT projects that you can't want to make money. But like there are people that will throw up a bomb on a train as it's still moving, right? Or people who want to challenge of tagging something uh in a place where you would think they couldn't reach up high under a bridge some d challenge with uh, where they you know they have to come back and finish it in little pieces or something because like how the fuck would anybody not see them doing that or something you know there's people like that they need more accolade there's always more ways to perfect someone's experience on this existence and it would be who if you Uh, okay. So, uh, you know, it's it's easy with a company like Shipple Marketing, uh, with uh the Wax Chain devs that are, are that help people to release uh, NFTs on the uh, Nefty blocks. Like you guys are the ones that seem to be lined up with it, and you don't need a license, and or you could get a license from Soul Train Production, right? Which, if you pay them, then that's just another that's another legit way. But I'm saying, if you don't have a legit way, then you might want to throw up a bomb like a tagger, and release free NFTs and try to buy some of them back. <laughs> like because if you could see like where like or I'm seeing immerse immersus has uh like sports possibilities of like sports where you can see you you can have bring your NFTs to a game, right? Your NFTs to a football game or something. And uh I think if so if if you know what I'm saying there's gonna be different niche groups and everything, and some of them will collaborate and some of them do their own you know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll may, maybe they all collaborate, but they go in different directions and everything. But with the with their technology, it would just be uh interesting to see like uh 
like imagine if you it would take you back in time because it would put you in the place where you're watching television but you're also a 3d experience interactive and so there's going to be authentic legit you would need a license yeah you didn't need copyright license and i mean unless you remove yourself completely from it and since it's indelible in the blockchain it's immutable you could release it in a way that uh it doesn't come back i mean saying there's no one to persecute because nobody is making any gains and no, you know what i'm saying and only people make gains from buying it and liking for uh, the because they have an affinity or um it's a nostalgia and uh so nostalgia is a, is a thing where you cannot get greedy and you just it's not you don't have to worry about this is a scam or anything cuz anybody trying to re re reproduce something that's worked in the past just to do it over like the dogecoin scenario it's like i'm pretty sure their nfts would be trash for one i'm not sure i mean maybe but if they that would be dangerous for them you know what i mean because then like they would get sued or something you know what i'm saying but uh i mean you know you know what i'm talking about get maybe get some licenses together <laughs> i can't believe this video like most people make videos for advice or to shill uh a leverage exchange or try to get people to think it's going to dump so that they make it like maybe can affect their own leverage trading and shit uh You know, I mean, there's some people do a service of just like talking to a lot of people with a lot of questions that are, you know, need someone to talk to that's not a recording. What you know, what I'm saying, because it's, I mean, you couldn't, you, I mean, so there's going to be some of those, but a lot of those people are doing something. It's like a little bit uh, below, maybe below, you, you know, you, you're thinking that you need their advice to make a fortune and they're below you in some ways like is that, is like you really don't until all right how... uh yeah